How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Open Mango and today we're going to be open up, opening up Pokemon. Uh, we have the Professor Juniper Tournament Collection box. We have the Bolton V box which does have an Evolving Skies. And then we're going to be opening up. It's a little big but it's the Costco tins. Uh, you should be able to see that in the thumbnail. So um, yeah, I'm excited. It's been a while since we've done some Pokemon openings. Not since I think Paradox Rift came out. Uh, but I'm excited and I hope you all are as well. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn the notification bells on so you know when my videos go live and share the video out with someone who you think might enjoy these openings. Uh, with that said, I'm going to get the packs all out, of, all out of their packaging and meet you guys back in just a sec. All right, I got all of the packs out of their packaging and in the Pikachu uh, pencil case, we had Silver Tempest Lost Origin and that collector's chest. We had three promos, the Growlithe, Boltorb, and Sneasler. There you go. And then we get two Astral Radiance, two Silver Tempest, and one Fusion Strike. Shout out CTR. Uh, and then with the Bolton V box, we have the Wooloo and the Bolton V promo cards. There you go. And I'm excited for this one because this has two Brilliant Stars, a Fusion Strike, and an Evolving Skies. That's awesome. And then I, I've never opened one of these, so we'll we'll save that to the end and we'll open that together. But now I think uh, we got some pretty great selection of packs. We'll dive in with Lost Origin. Hope you're all doing well, having a great night, great day, wherever y'all are. Um, it's been a while since we've done like a Pokemon opening. So I hope you all enjoy. Uh, one, two, three, four to the back and for lost origin looking for the giratina v alt art i uh, have yet to pull that so hopefully we can do that here today uh any alt arts will go ham obviously lugia would be the best or the charizard um well and then we do have a chance at the umbreon v max so hopefully we can pull that here today we have a machop and an electra so nothing in that pack silver tempest next looking for that alt art lugia All right, let's see. We have Silver Tempest, one, two, three, four. We have a Metal Energy, Regenerative Energy, V-Guard Energy. Man, a lot of energies in this set. I know Lugia was like the meta in the game for quite a while. We have Archeops also, uh, I think, critical in the Lugia deck. And hey, we have a Magirna V, nice. Let's go next is Astral Radiance. This is now from the Bolton, oh, not Bolton V, uh, the, the collector's chest. Three and four. And we'll see if any of the other Silver Tempests, um, I don't know, if, did I see Silver Tempest? Yeah, if any of those Silver Tempests are going to be like God Packs because I heard that they were some, there were some at Costco. Um, or not even Costco, like the Target, so they had them like... Oh, Typhlosion, nice. But uh, yeah, they had them at like Target or something where it was just... Silver Tempest was pumping out just hits, essentially. We have our next pack here. Astral Radiance and the last pack of it. We have Uxie. Eevee, Heracross, Mantine. Ooh, Radiant Greninja, looking dope. Look at that shine. Love the design on that. And then, nice, I'm a Champ V. So we're, we're getting some good cards. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're close to 500 subscribers as the recording of this video. Uh, gonna be doing a pretty big giveaway at that point so if you guys want to you know make sure you have a chance be sure to subscribe and yeah i'm, I'm really excited to, to get into it like got some great dragon ball one piece and pokemon um like lined up to open so hopefully you guys are all ready we have a fur fursode girl and then a metagross hollow we're actually getting a lot of like hollows and like ultra rares to be quite honest from these costco tins we <laughs> similar to last time like i opened a i think two or three costco tins before and 
they have been insane. I don't think you can really get these anymore. Uh, they have like the new ones. Uh, we have a slurp of. But yeah, it like the deals aren't as good as like this one. I think this was like 30 bucks or something for a 10 and hey, Ursaluna V. Uh, yeah, for like 30 bucks for like seven packs, something like that. It was like 20, 21 99 I, I forget, but it was like something dumb cheap. Oh. Let's see if we can get a hit in here. Fusion Strike is notorious for hard pulls, but hopefully we can do that here today. We have Semi Seer, Stuffle, Sandy Gas, Bustle, Vulpix, Meltan, Vulpix Reverse, and a Vic Volt. Yeah, nothing in those. But we do have the Bolton V-Box, which has one more Fusion Strike, two Brilliant Stars, and Evolving Skies. So a chance, three packs with three chances at Alt Hearts. Uh, I don't know what's in that Professor Juniper tin, so we'll see what we get in that one because um, it could be more Evolving Skies or it could be some more Brilliant Stars. I don't know. But I'm excited to find out. I know I've seen some openings on it, but dear God, it's been forever. Heatran and a Babero Hollow. Nice, great for uh, a lot of decks, especially like uh, ones that need draw power. Um, I saw Rattle play with uh, Babero in his decks because he's he's trying to get uh, his, uh, I think he's doing Zorark an active play as soon as possible. All right, we have Farewell Bell, Stantler, Stuffle, Sandy Gas, Plusle, Vulpix. Oh, we have a Meltan, we have a Shelmet, and a Galarian Cursola. Nothing in that pack. Coming down to the last couple packs in those collection boxes before we get into the Professor Juniper 10. All right, I'm gonna just go through here. We have Axew. Baltoy, Chimchar, Castform, Galette, All Creamy, and a Worm Dam. Primplup, Kindler, and Sharon's Care. It's nothing there. All right. Let's get into Evolving Skies. And I haven't opened up an Evolving Skies packs in so long. All right, we'll, we'll leave that because I want to check the code to see if it's like an old code or it's a new code. Because I did buy this Bolton V-Box like quite a long time ago. We have Nuzleaf, Ice Q, Skip Bloom, Litleo, Chinchow, Dino, Punkaboo, Hippopotam, Braviary, and hey, a Marshadow Hollow, not bad. Got a Hollow there. Hey, and these are the old code cards. So from like one of the first printings, which as we all know, Evolving Skies has gotten an insane amount of reprints and it has done nothing to calm down the price. But yeah, we have a Ju uh, Professor Juniper tournament collection box and I've never opened these before. So, oh, well, all right, just trying to save it, but I don't think that's possible. Let's see, we have all right, we have some promo cards here, it looks like. Uh, we have sleeves, which I'm not gonna get into, but then we... Oh, uh, what? Wait a second, where is the promo card? Oh, I guess it, it might be in there or it's in here. Yep. I was like, where's the promo card? Um, but yeah, we have our packs in here and let's see what we get for our packs. We have brilliant stars, brilliant stars, brilliant stars. Fusion Strike, A, Evolving Skies, and Chilling Rain. This is a stacked lineup. I'm digging it. I am digging it. All right. Thought we might have had a chance at the uh, Evolving Skies, so that's dope. And we did. And here are the promo cards. Uh, let's see, this is the code for the box there. We have Professor Juniper Galaxy Foil Hollow looks dope. Has a looks like a swirl in the back there. 
We get three of them, I believe. And then the full art. Man, Galaxy Hollow Patterns. Some of the best that Pokemon has ever done. They need to really bring these back and not just for like um, promo cards. And then, hey, there we go. There's Professor's Research. Looks really nice. Holy cow. Man, the full art cards. Let's check it out. Great looking card. Our first like big hit and it was like just given to us because of the uh, collection box. Let's go. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll save Evolving Skies for last, obviously, for the uh, Umbreon VMAX potential. All right. And we have Fire Energy, a berry. Clang, goodbye. Execute. Gibble, Weasel. Halucha, Duskull, and a <laughs> Raichu V. I'm not gonna lie though, we are getting a lot of ultra rare pulls. Like, it's, it, it's pretty great. Now we just need something a little bit more high rarity and then we'll be on our merry way. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's see, I don't think we've hit like a trainer gallery yet either. We have Sharon's Care. But these are loose packs, so you know, randomness to the max. We have a Buizel, a Lucha. Kind of reminds me of the show Mucha Lucha, if you all watch that at some point. We have Magmar and a Tornadus non hollow. I, I'm excited to get into this because, like, Pokemon, uh, as fun as it is to open, like, Man, sometimes the packs you want to open just really hard to find. And I'm just like, I can't find like 151 for at least a decent price, like retail. Uh, if y'all know some places, let me know. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I I definitely want to do another 151 opening. Uh, I want to do Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain, but even those packs are getting out of control now. We have Gibble and Worm Dam. Yeah, I remember buying like these particular tins, like I said, at Costco it was a fantastic price. Uh, and then these juniper boxes were, I got two of them, uh, opening one today. I think they were like 27 bucks for like seven packs plus all the extras. And I was like, yes, please. Like that, that makes sense to open up like price per pack. We have Quillfish, Meow, Gossifleur, Vulpix, and an Absol, non-hollow. All right, the, the three sets. We had Chill and Rain first, Evolving Skies, and then Fusion Strike come out, and they contained some of the best alt arts like in Sword and Shield like ever made, for sure. I think everybody agrees Evolving Skies is number one, um, but Fusion Strike's really good too. Like the Mew V Max ain't that great, but the, view, uh, the Mew V alt art uh, and the Gengar V Max are phenomenal like it'd be amazing to pull one of those because uh it's been like years since i pulled alt arts um so hopefully we can do that here today now uh and the other tcgs pull alt arts all the time we have trubbish and uh zero aura yeah if you all watch the other content i have you we've had some pretty fire pulls recently it's it's been kind of crazy but we are getting humbled um, in Dragon Ball. Uh, we pulled a lot of secret rares and it's been a while since we've pulled our last one. So hopefully in our next few openings, we can get some secret rares. We have a Reboot, Cast Form, Shuppet, Rockruff, Hatena, ooh, just feel. Weeding Gloves and a Gallade. All right, all comes down to Evolving Skies. Uh, hopefully we can pull an alt art here. If not, hey, it's been a fun opening as well. I mean, we've, we've hit some pretty good ultra rares. Uh, so you can't complain. Oh, that's a good sign. This is also an old code card. So let's go. One, two, three, four. All right. If you guys enjoy this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, and don't forget, we're, we're almost at 500 subscribers. So the 500 subscriber specials right around the corner. We have a Hippowdon, Zinnia's Resolve, Dream Ball, Woobat, Emolga, Rufflet, 
Punkaboo, Pikachu, Copycat, Reverse Foil, and <laughs> Dialga Hollow. Nothing too crazy out of the Evolving Skies, but hey, uh, great opening nonetheless. Appreciate you all for sticking around. Um, hope you have a great holidays uh, and hope you all have a great New Year's. Be, be safe out there and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.